Hey, it's Random Pop Culture News Rick here once again, aka Mr. Mainly we're bringing you guys some wrestling news also George's channel. I mean, social media platforms like um, Twitter, aka X, aka, um, and of course, Instagram, of course, Brighton, Odyssey, Reshoot, Rumble, Tes Tesla. <laughs> Better in mind, just in case the channel is shut down, terminated, God forbid, what have you, deleted, destroyed, hacked, worse, Shadow Mander, doxed by the YouTube algorithm. Anyways. I only got like one other little thing I want to talk about today, but there's like three other articles I'm going to talk about in the second one of this, so Tekken 8, Raven reveal and gameplay. Before I do begin, just two small little things I want to mention real quick. It has to do related to this um, actuality of, um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, my voice sounds a little funny. I just finished taking a nap like a half hour ago, so day at work was really, really crucial, extremely fucking, um, very, very stressful, so that's why I still got on my uniform short short time. Except you don't see my name tag, thank God. Um <clears throat> so as far as that goes, yeah. There was like two other announcements that had to do with Evo, because Evo was a real big thing we got literally yesterday. And that always happens here in Vegas all the time at the Luxor Mandalay Bay over there. It's crazy. It's literally like half like 20, 25 minutes away from my job, which is insane. Anyways there's another announcement for like um Guilty Gear 3. It was a dude named Johnny he ended up being revealed. That was pretty crazy. I would have did a reaction to him, but I didn't feel like it that much. And another one I'm going to get to in a second. <laughs> there was a second reveal trailer for another chick called um, Axel Cena. Axiala Cena or Axela Cena. I don't know. She's supposed to be like Peruvian or Brazilian or something. So that's pretty badass. The second Latina chick in this game. That's pretty awesome. So three, two, one, let's go. Let's jump into it. Oh, and uh, I did also hear like... When I was doing like the thumbnail for this video, I actually found out this dude was around since like Tekken 5 or Tekken 6, so that's pretty wild. Alright, let's go. Let's jump into it. Sorry, the volume's a little low too. I want you to hear what I'm saying. Links to the six down below too, to the video. Hey, right, here we go. Raven. See what he's all about. I don't remember seeing him in Tekken 5 or 6. Oh, I didn't do the thing like. Oh, you want some Naruto Shadow Clone Jutsu? Oh shit! Okay. The result of my training. Wow. Get ready for there the it is. It's your Shadow Agent. Nah, okay. They looks like they messed up the name a little. Just say Raven. Oh, there it is. That's not even zoomed in all the way either. That's. Captain Ben, I don't know. Let's see how awesome he does. Oh! Damn! Shatters the whole stage! Oh my god! What? Slow! Now he's fighting Jim and the other one. Of course, he's fighting those main two big time dudes in there. <laughs> Far freedom. Oh, he's doing a lot of those freaking and then you'll see like karate taekwondo freaking moves for flat. Ugh. Whew. Not bad. Oh wow. I feel a lot of more combat guilty gear vibes in this thing. Holy shit. Damn. Oh, he's got power. Literally only came out yesterday too, so I'm very, very super ready to go. Oh, uh, final move. Some human heart shit going on there. All right. No. That's why he has the X on his face. It's where he gives me a lot of Wesley Snipe guys. I don't know why. That's so freaky, man. Blade. All right. Yeah, we have a small little golf clap here. That was all right. Wasn't really nothing to really write home too much about, but that was still okay. All right, so... Uh, yeah, overall thoughts, views, and opinions. Um, not that much to say. He gave me so many, like I said before, when I was reacting to it, like, literally 10, 15 seconds ago. He gave me a lot of Wesley Snipes vibes. I don't know why. It's so weird. When he did the first Blade 1 and 2, 3, three movies, even though I think the remake of Rats, I don't know if it came out yet or not. It might be 2025, 26, with that whole Hollywood writer strike, director strike that's going on. It might be 2028 or 2030. Instead of 2025 or 2026, or I think Latin, next year, 2024, is supposed to come out, or the end of this year. <laughs> What's another dude? The dude that did like the, not Marvel's Moon Knight or Moonlight, 
I think it was called Moonlight. And it has something to do with this gay LGBTQIA person. You know, you know, I disagree with some of their lifestyles, but it is what it is. Live their life however they feel like living. But it is what it is. Um, I will say this. <laughs> yeah, that was that dude. I forgot what his name was. I think the last thing I saw him, you know, it was really, really old. It was from like 2015, 16. It was a Luke Cage show. Even though I literally watched it a few months ago. I know it's like nine and a half years old, but I still wanted to watch it. I thought it was pretty kick-ass. And I was very, very late to that shit. And I watched it in April or May, I think, earlier this year for the first time, which is pretty badass. I really wish I would have seen it when it did release in 2015, 16. Other than that, yeah, um, it's getting released. I forgot what the black dude's name was, man. He was like this thug, like, um, mafia boss dude from, like, Harlem, New York or something like that, or Brooklyn or Bronx. I think it was Harlem, yeah. Um, and for some reason, I keep, uh, I keep forgetting the dude's name. He was really, really fucking cool. Anyways, um, instead of just pausing here, that's all I really got to say that much about it. His moves are pretty sick. Uh, very, very colorful. Give me a lot of, like, Hunter x Hunter, Naruto, Naruto Shippuden with, um, I don't know, I want to say like, um, Zatch Bell sort of vibes, I don't know, from the early mid-2000s era stuff. Anyways, um, let me get to the thing on Google, <laughs> I know I saw my Pokemon Go thing open. I'm just going to talk about this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's TMNT. TMNT Mutant Ninja Turtles are coming to Street Fighter 6, this is pretty wild. Oh, here we go. This one comes from, uh, let's see, Windows Central. So I got a credit card that's due there. It's from um, Ale Alexander Cope. Famous heroes and a half in a shell are on their way. Street Fighter 6. It's going to read the first two things here and then that's it. An Evo 2023 Capcom revealed an upcoming trailer. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collaboration for Street Fighter 6 will feature... New avatar costumes, emotes, and more. Of course, emotes are good things that a lot of Gen Z kids give a fuck about. I really don't care. Um, Capcom has also shown Sword of Traitor AKI on the first new playable character that will be added to Street Fighter VI's post-game DLC. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collaboration will be available on August 8, 2023. Oh, wow, tomorrow. Not that bad. And AKI, or Aki, I guess, will be... It will be added during the autumn of 2023, so still got to wait till October, like two months from now. So it's going to be a little while, but yeah, thoughts, views, and opinions on that. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if they're going to have the black African-American version of April O'Neil in there, or just the traditional old school white version that was in there, which they want to please a lot of Asian ones, especially when it comes to Chinese people. No offense to Chinese, but their government over there, I don't know what it is. They really, really dislike the shit out of them. Unfortunately, a lot of Morenos out there. I really don't like how... A lot of people look for some reason. I don't know why. That's just me hearing what they think. Mainly the Chinese government. I don't know the Chinese regular everyday average citizens thing. But that's how their government operates, unfortunately. That's why they made that dude, um, Chadwick Boseman, have his like freaking helmet on when he was putting the Black Panther movie out there, which is crazy, man. It's fucking insane. And um, same with the other one, the Star Wars. That one dude that was, uh, I forgot his name, uh, John Boyega. They, they shrunk the crap out of his character really tiny so you can barely see him. That's way fucked up there. And fuck them for doing that shit. No. He's a real tremendously cool actor, honestly. And that's really all I got to say. I'm out of here. Links to scores about his nominal cards on the side. There's three other articles I'm going to talk about, but that's when I do the Ali Sina, Sina trailer reveal. So, I'm way extra hyped for that one. That's it. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, and boys and fingers. As always, let's talk to you. Come on, I'll see you next year. Because I day after night, wherever. You're out in the world out there, don't get smoked with the same time. Don't say anything reckless. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it real, keep it elective. Say it's more for your conscious channel, good video game industry news. I have manga news, for your drama news. Okay, X beef YouTuber drama news, of course, to push drama news. And of course, as always, reactions um, like this every single, not every single day, maybe every single week at least. <laughs> of course, Elon Musk news once in a while, and then celebrity gossip news, anime show update news. Peace out, and let's talk about Lazy Mike. See you on the police side. Take it easy, I'm going. Peace out. Laters. And I'll talk to everyone soon. Stay extra safe out there. Later.